guys. So today's fragrance review is going to be from the house of Vince Komoto and we're going to be doing Terra or Terra. So this was actually launched in 2017, so just a few short months ago. The notes. Now I'm going to read this real quick. You got citruses, geranium, sandalwood, rhubarb, vanilla, tonka bean, and woody notes. Now what do I get out of this beauty? Now I definitely get a very prominent rhubarb note along with some citruses. The rhubarb is very bitter, tart, and sour. I like it, it is very interesting, but when it starts to tone down, that's when the vanilla comes into play, and the combination of the two really adds a really nice take. But you also get a little bit of the florals, and the base is a very woody and earthy base. Now this is pretty much like an earthy type of base. The scent is nice, it's pleasing, it's casual, but it's also very masculine. I find that this fragrance is more suited for the springtime when it comes to the transition from winter to spring when it's still relatively cool out and not exactly warm. But it's also a decent fall scent when it comes to the transition from summer to spring when it starts to get a little bit cooler. I really wouldn't want to wear this in a hot summer day. You know, on an evening out, I think you could actually do it pretty good. But the flaw to this one is the performance. The performance is utter garbage. I got three hours with maybe 30 minutes of projection. It really does project quite heavily within the first 20 to 30 minutes, and then it really does quickly become a skin scent. You really do smell it. The rhubarb and the vanilla is just, it's a really interesting take. Rhubarb is not your typical note in a lot of the, your fragrances out there, like your tonka bean, your citrus, and your vanilla. Same with your woody notes, but it's a really unique and interesting scent. What would you use this one for? I would actually use this one for work, as it's not going to offend anybody, and it is rather light. You know, you can reapply during the day, but you can also wear this on an evening out. Cost on this one. Now, I actually paid $95 retail. I could not find this online, as it is a new release. Is it worth $95 Canadian? Hell no, especially with that longevity and projection. I find that if they really amped up the performance to five to six hours, I think it would be more so worth like maybe 60 bucks Canadian, but at this stage, it's definitely not worth more than 25 bucks. And this is a 100 ml. Now my fiance thought it was an okay scent, but there's definitely other fragrances out there that are more suited for me. People at work actually liked it, especially the guys. The guys thought that the dry down was actually quite nice as some of the guys are quite manly and this is their type of scent. Now, final thoughts on this one. Do I like the scent? Absolutely, I find it's very good, very interesting, and also very unique. Would I recommend this one? Yes and no. You know, if you don't mind piss poor performance and you don't mind reapplying during the day, like, like I will with this one, definitely check it out. Surprisingly, I'm gonna keep it. I'll just decant this one and just reapply as the day progresses, but what can you do? So guys, that's it for Vince Kamuto Teta. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for your time. Take care and